If you uh, lift it up and just kind of let it go, totally unstable. If you give it a little bit of rotation, very, very stable. And it's a lot more pronounced if you spin the coin. If I spin the coin, then it can stay up very, very long time. Now, even though it looks like a kind of a solid sphere when it's spinning, you know, if you spin it fast enough, it kind of looks like a solid sphere, right? In reality, there's only one contact point at the bottom. It, at any point in time, when this thing is spinning around, there's only one point or very few points at the bottom there, if it's a little flat, where it's actually contacting the ground. But yet, it's a lot more stable. In fact, so stable, if you're very quick, you can actually put several of these things in motion at the same time, and you can see that they're more or less stable. Why is a rotating object stable like that? The main idea is that just like when you throw something in a straight line, we say it has momentum. And you might have heard that there's something called the conservation of momentum. It's a law of the universe. As far as we can tell, there's no exceptions to it that we've ever done an experiment and seen an exception of it, right? Well, that's for a system moving in a straight line. There is an equivalent law called the law of conservation of angular momentum, and that applies to rotating systems. And all of these effects, like the stabilized coins, the stabilized Frisbee, the stabilized spacecraft, they basically all boil down to the conservation of angular momentum. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.